The new ABISM piano syllabus is out today and on this video I want to tell you about some of the major differences between the old and the new. That's coming up next. Music Online UK First of all, the list structure is completely different. You'll still have to play one piece from each list, list A, list B, list C. But in the past, the old lists A pieces used to be like the Baroque and classical pieces. The list B ones were more the romantic maybe, and the list C were the modern pieces. Now, in the new structure, the list A pieces will tend to be faster, technical pieces. The list B ones will be more expressive, and the list C pieces will reflect a wide variety of musical traditions, styles and characters. Now, personally, I think this is a good change because then you are forced to play something a little bit technical and also something a little bit more expressive. Whereas in the past, you could have got away with playing all three slow pieces. So that's a plus, I think, in my opinion. Next, there is a new duet option for all the grades from initial up to grade three. Again, another good plan because it encourages players to learn a sense of timing and playing with other people, a good thing for a musician. Now, the major difference between this syllabus and the old syllabus is in the scales. That's dramatically changed and there's been a lot less scales required, especially at the higher grades. Now, forgive me if I look down because I'm going to be reading this. I haven't memorised it all in one morning. So I'm going to be reading to you some of the major differences. I'm not going to list every scale for every grade, but some of the major differences that have appeared in each grade. There is a link at the bottom of this video where you can actually see the exact lists. But for now, I'm just going to mention some of the differences. So in grade one, the main differences are that the broken chords have disappeared completely. And I don't think that's a bad thing. I always found teaching broken chords to very young students quite problematic. And I don't think there was much benefit from that. Instead, they now have a one octave arpeggio, which I think for young players is a lot more useful. There is also a one octave hands together scale of C major. Again, a good move forwards, I think, from the ABRSM, because one of the difficult things progressing from grade one to grade two was playing hands together. And that was always one of the major stumbling blocks moving up from grade one to grade two. Also, the scale of D major with two sharps has disappeared from grade one. In grade two, also, there are no broken chords again. And some of the easier scales, not all of them, but some of the easier scales are hands together. So, for example, G major and F major, with one sharp and one flat, are hands together, whereas D major and A major, with two and three sharps, are hands separately at this grade. In grade three, as before, the easier scales, i.e. those that were the harder ones in grade two, and were hands separately then, have now become hands together scales. And the new hard scales in grade three, or the harder ones, are the hands separately scales. Also, the E major contrary motion that was previously in grade two has now moved up to grade three, and the contrary motion chromatic that was in grade five has now moved to this grade. But actually, it's a very easy contrary motion chromatic that's starting on D because it's a symmetrical pattern. In grade four, the principle of the harder separate hand scales from the previous grade becoming the easier hands together scales in this grade, it continues, but also now extends to the arpeggios. One major difference is that the D flat major that used to be in grade four has now been replaced with F sharp major, a grade earlier than the old syllabus. In grade five, you no longer need to prepare a complete cycle of fifths major and minor. There are only five majors and five minors. Staccato scales are introduced a grade earlier than currently, and there is also a diminished seventh scale, again something introduced in an earlier grade than in the current syllabus. All scales in grade five are now just two octaves, not three as currently. In grade six, the main difference is that all similar motion scales, that is major, minor, and even chromatics, could be legato or staccato. Another new addition is the dominant sevenths that resolve onto the tonic. 
So you don't go back to the dominant note at the end of the dominant seventh, you go up to a tonic at the end. So for example, a dominant seventh in the key of C would be G, B, D and F. But instead of going to the G at the end, you'd go to the tonic C. So G, F, D, B, C on the very last note. In grade seven, there are a lot less keys involved and there is a new single hand legato scale. You had that in grade eight before, but a legato scale in thirds. All arpeggios are now first inversion only. Previously, it was root position and first inversion. And in grade eight, again, a lot less keys are involved. A new chromatic scale in sixths is introduced and an extra whole tone scale. And like in grade seven, the arpeggios are only this time all in second inversion. No root position required. Now, as I said, if you want to see the full list of the requirements for every grade, there's a link at the bottom of this video. And let me know in the comments below if you think these changes are a change for the better or a change for the worse.